definitely. Good stuff. Good stuff, Absolutely. Frank. What we got coming up next, buddy? All right. Next fight, we've got JC21 taking on KM Fonte. Uh, both these fighters are one and one right now, Boiler. JC actually lost to a late, late replacement and winner XJ, who's going to be fighting later on at ESFL 151. But he was able to rebound with the win versus Capilot at the last Xbox event, which is 153. Uh, he's an aggressive, dirty scrapper. Uh, JC, just a fun fact, is our youngest ESFL champion to date, and he's now a crafty veteran. You know, back then we were all talking about the potential. Now he's trying to turn that potential into actual opportunities here in front of us, and uh, we're going to see those the evolution of those skills. But on the other side, we've got KM Fonte from the Kingsman camp. He's a former primetime champion, uh, another one of the affiliate leagues. He lost to Keza at ESFL 151, was able to get that rebound. Um, I'm so sorry. Uh, who he got the win over is uh, escaping me at the moment, but was able to get back into the win column. Uh, he's 1-1. One he likes to fight simulation style. He uses high-level feints and setups, and uh, his own quote, he actually <laughs> uses his brain when he fights. Yes. So we're going like to see that. just how cerebral he can be once we uh, get things going here. <laughs> there, we both go, there we go. Actually, use my brain. So Fonty <laughs> is McGregor and JC21, a.k.a. T-H-N-M-H-J-K-O. I don't know what that is. Is there even an obscene, but we'll see. Can you even abbreviate that? Like, how are you? I have no idea. JC. I <laughs> I'm too old to know these things, I think, maybe. It's past my past my understanding. But uh, I think we're going to have a great fight here between McGregor and Edwards. That's a classic match. 100%. Stand-up war, buddy. Yeah, both these guys really starting to utilize the kickboxing, both trying to find those teeps to the body. I, I love the teep to the body. It's just like, you know, another jab opportunity. <laughs> and also something that can, you know, wear down that gas tank. You know, if you're fighting somebody like a Conor McGregor, you know he's going to be explosive in the early rounds. But maybe if you can weather that storm and yep. try and take some of the some of the wind out of those sails later on, you might be able to, you know, you know, claw your way back into the fight. But that's a tall task whenever you're standing in front of a McGregor who's being controlled yeah. by somebody as skilled as Fonte, as both these guys are. Just wow, a huge front kick right up the middle catches Edwards right in the chin makes me forget everything I was saying. It wasn't important anyway, <laughs> Boiler. <laughs> no, no, that's important, my man. Now we got two southpaws fighting each other. Looks like Edwards got a little bit of that length advantage. He's the bigger guy for sure. Uh, but McGregor's coming in heavy with those combinations. Oh, yeah, man. He's got that power still at this weight class. Absolutely. Mixing in the uppercuts as well as the hooks. You know, he's obviously throwing a lot of straights and jazz, but those those hooks are coming early and often in these combinations. Definitely, definitely. It Whoever's like keeping track of the demerits out there will definitely <laughs> score these guys negatively for no sound. I also say, all competitors, make sure your stream sound is working, please. Thank you. But also, a huge uppercut from McGregor right there is going to rock Edwards. Uh, no sound, but doesn't matter. He's still got to figure out how to get out of this round. Minute 40 left as Edwards is now starting to fight back. And it looks like. It looks like he might have been doing a bit of rope a dope here in the early going boiler, trying to get McGregor to use some of that energy. And he's just being patient and being defensive, trying to wait on his opportunity and getting some good hooks there, uh, able to avoid that elbow coming back from McGregor because that had evil intentions behind it. <laughs> that a huge body, body uppercut. And right, that's rock basket, man. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Yeah, absolutely. And he's looking to put that water in the basement early right now, Boiler. And we'll see if that investment pays off later on. But right now, it looks like it is because you can see a bit of a stamina discrepancy. And that's only going to get worse if this fight continues the way that it's going. Absolutely, man. That was a beautiful uppercut right to the bread basket. Stunned him. Sapped that stamina. Uh, 20 seconds left in this round. Let's see who if someone can finish with a flurry and really lock it in for themselves. Right now, Edward's trying to set something up with that jab, throwing about four of them in a row, trying to get some damage on that block and then maybe come around with a round strike. But the defense of, um, of McGregor holds up, at least for now. We're able to get through that first round. But a very back and forth round. But I think, you know, you got to give that one to, to JC just based on the merit of that, that huge body uppercut that did get that stun there. Yeah. I believe uh, Fonte was winning the first half of that fight, or it was darn close. Mm -hmm. He was using that speed and precision of McGregor, getting inside and then getting out, and a uh, good shot right there as an example. But that stun plus some other follow-up shot and overall damage, pretty close fight, but it looked like For also sure. JC had uh, more volume as well, like 100-plus thrown with a decent amount landed. Um, so I'll give it to him. Yeah, we'll see. But again, uh, Fonte trying to make that up quickly here uh, at the start of round two. 
going right down the pipe with these straights, almost able to land the uppercut, and then now he's trying to you know mix things up and throw those hooks now. And just the mental games that are always at play in, in these high-level fights, Boiler. You know, somebody will come in and throw four or five jabs in a row, and then they come in and throw six, seven hooks in a row. So it's just, <laughs> you, you've always got to be on point and wonder what's coming next. And, you know, I feel like that speaks to the defensive responsibility of JC to be able to, for the most part, avoid the largely damaging strikes. A good point. Sometimes at the highest level, you just go back to the the basics. Uh, kind of comes full circle where you don't need anything fancy. Just throw a few basic strikes, and uh, you'll catch them up. So yeah, uh, Sean Strickland it's all mind games for, for sure. <laughs> yeah, great point. Exactly, that's a great example. And uh, if you have good fundamentals and uh, play those mind games, you don't always have to be fancy. But now we're starting to see JC extend some of those combos in the pocket. You're starting to see a lot more damage land of that block of McGregor. And you got to think that's just going to be something that he's trying to use to set up for later on when he can try and put a bow on this thing. But McGregor not going down easily, landing a lot no. of good uppercuts right there. And you can see he's just chipping counters. away slowly but beautiful surely counters. at the health of JC. Exactly. These beautiful counters are landing. He got like four in a row and knocked the head of health all, more than halfway down, and then he got caught back. But um, I feel like I feel like Fonte might be winning Ooh. right now, this round at least. I mean, yeah, great slip into the straight right there. Another good slip. He's able to find these slips, and you got to think that's a little bit worrying for JC because you know that counter shot is going to start following it because he's starting to figure out the rhythm, starting to figure out the timing here, and now he's starting to land with that right hook. Oh, and an uppercut behind it, and now he's just trying to find the finish. Is he going to be able to get in here, Boiler? Oh, man, great defense by JC, but uh, we got a, a t turning of the tide with Fonte here. He's really and coming again, on strong. The onslaught's just continuing. Still a minute and a half left in this round. If if you're uh, JC, you got to think about taking this thing to the ground, right? Just to to slow the pressure down because right now McGregor's rolling and he's got the momentum and it looks like he's got the rhythm and you got to do something to to change it up right now. I would think so. He's falling into his traps. Another he's slip a little too often, maybe. And now, oh, I mean, man. Edwards is there to be hit, able to, to, to survive for now, but the health is just getting worse and worse. But he's able to get a good slip straight there, and maybe that'll be something that can help turn the tide back in JC's favor. Both of them are within an inch of being knocked down, so it could come down to the first person to get knocked down that could lose this... Uh, very close round. I think Fonte was winning, but uh, JC came on strong at the end. So this is a toss-up round in my book. I think JC came on strong in the uh, in the end of that round, but I feel like Fonte was just on top of it that entire round, able to do too much damage. Um, he got quite a few stuns and rocks right there, and I think honestly he's just, he's in a position right now where he's looking to finish this fight here in round three. Well, Fonte says that he actually uses his brain. So let's see what kind of brain power he can bring to this and, and catch <laughs> something he's got to maybe try something new some sort of uh adjustment to the game plan in the third round because right now it's been um you know that that second round was a bit of one-way traffic Fonty is just really finding that rhythm but jc is doing a good job oh but he gets caught there maybe a bit too predictable with the Ooh. offense and now that right hook able to get around the guard is it going to be able to finish it not quite and now we've got jc back to his feet just looking to survive Still four minutes left in the fight, four minutes to make something happen for JC. Make no mistake, he's not out of this fight. There's still quite a bit no. of damage he's done to the head of Fonte. And one or two good, uh, well-timed, well-placed shots, he's right back in this fight looking to take over. So you got to be careful if you're Fonte. You know, you're looking for that finish, but you right, cannot right. end up getting too careless. Great point. Absolutely, you can. Uh, he's feeling feeling some momentum. He knows he probably needs a, a finish. And big Beautiful slip of the elbow. elbow. Yep. Oh my goodness! And the right uppercut yeah, just finishes man. it. That was that was Rock'em Sock'em. That was very oh, fatality esque. Oh. That right hand just found its home. Took Edwards clean off his feet. Yeah, I mean, got some air time, place. man. Talking about <laughs> Mortal Kombat, we were talking a little Mortal Kombat and Tekken before this. It's like yeah, <laughs> uppercut him off the bridge and then they fall all the way down to the spikes. Like, oh, I got some <laughs> air time on that. <laughs> Toasty. Just there you go. <laughs> Beautiful. I really like this replay of, of, of uh, UFC 5. I think it looks pretty good. Super yeah. slow HD. Look at that blood. Holy cow. Yeah, I was about to say the blood Ooh. splatter is just my goodness.